Hey guys, um, right now I'm sick, and I've been crying, because I've made a video about this two, three times, I don't know, but it doesn't matter how many times I make it, because it's still an issue. It's still a really big issue. Bowling. On May 8th, my cousin Tori committed suicide. And I know it's been a while. It really hasn't been that long at all when you think about it. But just because it kind of has been a little while doesn't mean that the pain has gone away whatsoever almost every time I think about it I cry <laughs> because I imagine back to my memories we were just little kids Playing Barbies together. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> it's hard to think that that person's gone. And she's not here no more. <laughs> I am, may not have talked to her in a while before she committed suicide. <laughs> that doesn't mean that it hurts me any less <laughs> or that I care any less. doesn't mean I care any less. Sorry, that kind of sounds disgusting. Like I said, I'm sick and I'm crying, so that doesn't <laughs> make any better. Some people, they just think that this person's different from me. This person's different. This person's different from what I prefer. So I have every right to be harsh to them and harass them and make rude comments about them when... <laughs> I have never truly talked or got to know this person. I'm judging them by looks. Either I'm threatened by them or I just feel entitled to comment on their, their appearance and um, make up rumors about them. On May 7th, the day before my cousin committed suicide, she posted on her Facebook, I am not talking to no one. So go ahead and spread that rumor around about me. Keep my name out of your mouth and leave my business to me. That was a day before she committed suicide. I 
I remember going to my cousin's funeral <laughs> and you know what I had seen her mom in a while but still she recognized me automatically right off the bat <laughs> and she liked me <laughs> and we were crying together and I remember her saying if you ever see anyone being bullied do something Stop it. Try to do something to help them. Because no parent should have to experience this. Usually I don't cry, well, not around other people, at least. Well, I guess really I'm not around other people. I'm just sitting in my room with something on my mind and my heart. If you feel like giving up, if you feel like there's no hope, every day you just feel sick and weak and don't want to live anymore, I want to tell you, it does get better, and even when it feels like no one cares, like no one gives a shit, they do. There are people who care, and you will make it through it, even if it feels like you won't. You will. Trust me. I've been through that. Because it does get better. It does. Think it don't, but you will. You just gotta hold out until it does. Don't give up. Don't let them have power over you. Don't ever let them have power over you. You just gotta get to the point where you say, Hey, I don't care. I don't give a shit. You wanna judge me? Fine. Why the fuck do I care about your opinion? Do you truly have any importance in my life? Are you my friend? No. Um, even if you are my friend, then you're not a really true friend, are you? You're not a real friend, are you? Because sometimes friends that seem like they're forever, they're not. I hate to break to you, but that's how it is. <coughs> Sorry, that sounds disgusting. But you just gotta get point, Lori. You're like, hey, I don't care anymore. You know what? I'm happy. Even if you're not. But you gotta be like, hey, I like this. If you don't like it, well, that's your problem. Because I don't really care. Just... You gotta learn not to care. Really, to sum it up in two words be strong. <laughs>